One of the great things about plastic surgery is the profound effect it can have on someone's life. And to be honest, it's probably the best bit of my job. I absolutely adore my patients coming back and telling me what effect it's had on them. What you must be careful about is making sure that if you're choosing a surgeon who has been told is a specialist, that he is a specialist in plastic cosmetic surgery. What you may not wish to have is someone who's trained in a different branch of surgery doing your breasts or doing your nose. People present for rhinoplasty at absolutely any age. I think the youngest rhinoplasty I've ever done is someone at the age of 15 and the oldest I think is the age of 84. The common things people ask to have changed are a bump on the top of their nose, a nose they feel is too big, or a tip of their nose they feel is just too blobby. In terms of actually doing the procedure and getting back to everything after that, um, I'll get most people to wear a splint for nine or ten days after the operation. Swelling and bruising can actually be quite significant after a rhinoplasty, particularly one which uh, requires reshaping of the nasal architecture itself and the bones. And 50% of that swelling has usually gone by the time we take the splint off. So in actual fact, if people say to me, how much time do I require off work? I say, well, I'll have two or three days for the op to get over the operation and for the worst of the swelling to settle. And give yourself another nine or 10 days if you can. And after that, the majority of people are actually able to get back to work, get, get back to socializing um, and really back to their everyday life. 99.9% .9 of the people who come and see me there is one thing about them they don't like. I change it and it changes their life forever.